In this video, I will show you how to access Google Docs using your mcoeapps.org email address. Within that Google Docs, I have a spreadsheet that has all the um, class rooms on the bottom, and I want everybody to start putting in their last name and first name of students, their service provider days when, when speech and OT come to the classroom, and if it's a triennial or not, and um, the due date of the IEP. So I'm going to go into my web browser. I use Google Chrome. You can do this in Safari or in Firefox as well. mcoeapps.org, www.mcoeapps.org. Username is first initial last name. Your password is in your email. There is a default password which I will have in the Monday memo and you can change it right away. It, it leads you to changing your password right away when you first sign in. If you click on Docs within this list, you see Sites, Docs, Calendar, Email, etc. If you click on Docs, it has a list of all the Docs we have in our system, including IEP due dates, which is shared with all of our teachers in this program. So if you click on IEP due dates, you see last name, first name, speech day, OT day, other, like uh, adaptive PE, um, deaf and hard of hearing, vision specialists. I just realized it says TIR instead of TRI. I will change that in this video. And it automatically saves it. And the due date, that's the drop dead due date of the IEP. Down here below, you see my mouse, it's going down to La Jolla, Fremont, Camden Rooms, all my King City rooms from there. So find your room number, find your tab like Gabaland Room 4. You can put in your last name, first name, speech day, and then it's going to say TIR because of my dyslexia. And you can change that easily to try if you want to. And it automatically saves. Then you go to your email name and sign out, and then I'll be able to have that document shared with me automatically through Google Docs.